Well, friends, can I sincerely thank you for giving just a few moments of your time to listen just to some simple truths from the Word of the Lord. We really appreciate you giving of your time and joining in. And it may be that you have a friend or a loved one and they're discouraged and they're downcast and downhearted, maybe even brokenhearted, and they need encouragement and they need strength in these days. We encourage you to share these little messages if you feel that they're appropriate and applicable. Because there's always hope, as long as we've got breath in our lungs, and as long as there's a God in heaven, and as long as we have the assurance of the promises of God's word, there is always hope always hope. Your circumstances today might seem dark, they might seem bleak, they might seem very, very hard, but you can have a future that's brighter than tomorrow. Adoniram Judson was a famous missionary. He went to the islands of Burma to share the gospel and to preach the good news. And yet for seven years, not one person responded positively to the gospel that he preached. Circumstances were hard, finances weren't coming in, there were problems, there were difficulties of all manner and hue, and Adoniram Judson was discouraged, and even the people of God that were supporting him back home, they wrote letters to him, they told him to come back, they told him that he had got the call of God wrong, and he just felt, I suppose, at the end of his tether. But as he began to read the Word of God, he discovered some of the great promises of the Lord, and he wrote back and said, my future is as bright as the promises of God. And that was a turning point in his life. You know, your circumstances presently might be hard. Your circumstances presently and previously might be difficult. But if we can just put our faith and trust in the Lord and seek first his kingdom, everything can change in a moment of time. There's a few verses that I just want to leave with you from Isaiah chapter 61. Now these verses are speaking prophetically. So much of the prophecy of Isaiah speaks about the earthly ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And these are words that the Lord himself referred to in his earthly ministry. Let me read them to you and I trust that they might be an encouragement. Isaiah chapter 61, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach good tidings, good news, or the gospel, because the word gospel means good tidings or good news. He hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And it may be today that you fall into some of those categories that are mentioned there in those verses. It may be that you're bound, you're fettered, you're held captive, maybe by some addiction or by some habit or by guilt or by fear or by loneliness or by despair. It may be that you're broken hearted today. Maybe you're broken hearted because you've lost a loved one. Maybe you're broken hearted because of illness or infirmity that affects you or someone that you love. Maybe you're broken hearted because of circumstances in your own life. Maybe they were of your own making. Or maybe you were just pulled into something that you didn't choose for yourself. Maybe today you've got a spirit of heaviness. You're downcast. You're discouraged. Jesus Christ can meet you at the point of need. The Bible says he was on all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. And he invites us to come to him, to come boldly with assurance and confidence, to come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So just what I'm trying to say is don't despair, don't give up, don't throw in the towel. Turn your eyes upon the Lord Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. He loves us. 
He died upon the cross to save sinners like you and I. And if he did that, he can meet us at the point of need. Thank you for joining us and hopefully we'll see you again next time. God bless. Bye-bye.